Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Virtual Races Club. Uh, it's me again, standing in for Thingamajig. Um, obviously, he'll be out on track tonight, and that means that we um, see me, sorry, that we have the uh, Sir Sterling Mo at um, Interlagos, uh, part and parcel of our Brazilian week uh, here at Virtual Races Club. Um, so let's go through the uh, the rundown. So this is a, uh, a championship designed for guys who haven't won a VRC championship or a uh, two and a half hour category event. Um, it's just basically to uh, you know help uh, drivers progress and grow uh, and learn. Um, so we have five teams. Uh, the teams uh, the drivers have been divided up into five teams. Each team has has a coach. Um, coaches are champions or you know um, guys who have I think they are all champions actually think about it um, so let's go through them quickly again uh, for the, anybody who missed out from last week so first of all we have Team Psycho which is VRC Daz and VRC Koi Karp who is currently in the pits as you can see they're nice in a, in a Ford replica livery I believe I was told last week um, and obviously their uh, their team principal is Matt Psycho. Uh, we next have Team Talleyrand, and I believe they are. No. We have Noxy, who's just come out of the pits, and we have Jim in P7, uh, who's sitting in the pits, uh, and Noxy's up in the fourth place at the moment. And they are coached by VRC Talleyrand or the Gaffer. We have Team RS, whose coach is Binko, and we have Pat, who I believe is not here yet, and we have Bandit, who I also believe is not here yet. Ah, maybe uh, Team RS aren't, aren't showing out tonight. I have to wait and see. Uh, next we have Team Guesty, uh, which is VRC Thingamajig, who would normally be talking to you. Um, but I'm taking his place so that he can have uh, some fun racing on the track with, with the guys and Ensign Newitt currently in P3 um, got to say though the CO livery that's possibly one of my favourites this year and next we have Team 86 which is Racer Brown as the coach and we have Barry Twins and Yokas who is currently sitting in the pits so uh, that's the teams. The next thing we need to run through then, seeing as we have had a round already, is the championship. Uh, I think we'll go through the teams first. Let's pick somebody out on track first. Let's go through the teams first. So Team Talleyrand are leading, leading the team's championship with 70 points. Uh, if I remember rightly, his team did take both wins last week. Um, and I had a, a double podium in the second race and a front row lockout from race one if I remember rightly as well next up we have team Guesty in second with 40 let me zoom in a bit I'm going a bit blind now 46 points uh, third is team RS uh, which is 44 points only two points in it that's that's quite tight and next we have team 86 in fourth and then team psycho bringing up the rear but I do believe they only had one driver last week oh actually so did uh, team 86 um, so very very close lots to play for lots to fight for and then let's take a look at the uh, the uh, drivers <coughs> standings in first place we have Noxy with 37 points second place we have Jim with 33 Ensign Ewer in, in third with 30 Barry Twins tight um, behind Ensign Ewer well behind Ensign Ewer they're on exactly the same points 30 points apiece for Ensign and Barry uh, Bandit on 25 points in 5th, Pat in 6th with 19 points, Daz tied with Pat on 19 points, Thingamajig in ninth with 16 and then Koikarp and uh, Jokas who were unable to, to turn out last week, um, bringing up the rear uh, at the bottom of the table. Let's just have a quick look, catch up with YouTube. So we have Barry, good evening Skynet, I'm hoping to give you a good show hopefully. Uh, I'm going to give you a good show, hopefully. Uh, I hope so too, Baz. Um, 
yeah, last week, two two P threes, two podiums, uh, good good solid race, not good solid pair of races to be fair. Um, race around, hello, my old Buett, Butte, maybe. Are you calling old? I'm not old. Uh, Pat currently sat with a warm beverage in the pits. Okay, fair dues. Bandit, let's go, Pat and Bandit. Good evening. And good evening to yourself, Bandit. Right then, so what have we got? So we're going to have a 12 minute qualifying at 8 o'clock, which is in about 8 minutes time. Um, we might, we might not get it ready. Uh, let's see, shall we? Um, so we've got a 12 minute qualifying session and then we have a 15 minute sprint race where the drivers must use a, uh, a single compound uh, for the whole grid, which is the racing soft tires. And then we'll have a small little five, 10 minute break between races and then we will have a 30 minute feature race in which the drivers have a choice between these racing soft and the racing medium, but they must use the racing medium compound. Last week we did see uh, that the, the preferred strategy was to not use the softs at all in the, um, in the feature race and purely just race on the mediums. How well that would work here, I'm not sure. Um, this is quite a tighter track and the, four, the front tyres on, on this four wheel drive car will burn out um, towards the end of the race. Uh, but on the other side of it is quite a long pit lane. Um, if I remember rightly, about 35 seconds or so for a pit stop. So you know, maybe you could go with softs at the, uh, at the start, bolt away from everybody if you can, um, and then maybe stop towards the end if your tyres are still okay. We'll have to have a look at what their tyres can do in, in the sprint race. Again, last week, uh, fuel wasn't an issue. Um, so I think maybe a little bit of fuel management in the future race was needed. So we might see some come in for stops towards the end of the race. I'm not too sure though. I think the, the better way to go will be no stop with, with a bit of fuel saving. Um, okay. I'll tell you what, uh, who's going over the line? Let's find somebody about to go over the line. Let's ride on board with Pat, shall we? So I enter into T1. What am I doing? Get over that second corner apex, over the curbs. This is a tough one. If you don't get your entry right or you turn in right, you can easily wash out over the curb and over the green stuff there. And we uh, head down towards uh, turn four. That braking point is the, uh, the tarmac on the right-hand side. That's a bit too much curb there. It's going to kick him out, yeah. Uh, you just want to be just kissing that curb on the on the first apex there. Again, another little burst up the hill. This is normally just a dab of the brake, drop it down a gear, hug that right hand side. It's pushed it too much. I would have been hugging that a lot closer. And this is a lovely corner. Second gear, all the way down. Get over the curb, straighten the car up, he head for the next apex. That's very nice. Get on the power early because you've got a nice wide curb there on the right hand side to hug. Keep this as straight as possible. Second gear, again, you want to be over those curbs. Uh, that was quite nice to go. Uh, on, in the spring race and on the early part, that old corner will be flat out, but a bit of lift on the uh, towards the end of the race again. Last corner, nice and over the curb, and then just a flat to the, uh, to the finishing line. Uh, this looks like it'll be a, a 134.35 for Pat which isn't that shabby a time really I don't know, maybe even more than 37 uh, there you go, shows how good I am at working out how uh, how far away from the arm line we are ok so so far we have Koi Carp leading the time sheet with a 137.5 which is uh, a pretty decent time um, if anybody watched we did do uh, GTMC last night at the same track but I cannot remember what the times were I'll tell you what, I can have a look at what the qualifying time was uh, in the Group 4 race. So uh, bear with me a second. I don't want to request screen share. City phone. City app. 
Uh, okay, so at the moment, last night, the average lap, for, uh, lap time from last night in a GTMC, which again is different cars, um, wasn't wasn't that much faster than the what Koi is currently doing at the moment, and I would have to say this is probably a slower car than what we've been using, uh, what anybody's using in GTMC. Uh, nobody is using the, the Mazda in GTMC, so. Uh, but we did have some some good quality racing. Ensign, hey, uh, enjoy the race, buddy. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it should should be a good one, uh, especially if. Uh, Last night was anything to go by, and, and this track does normally produce some some good quality racing. Well, it has done in the past. Uh, Barry Twins in second place with a 137.6, just uh, just under a tenth and a half behind Coy at the moment. Jim, last week's pole sitter, less than a, or just over half a tenth off of Barry Twins. And just shy of two tenths off of Koi. This is this is going to be close. With Daz, two, uh, nearly three hundredths off of Jim. Wow, look at this! And Enton, two hundredths off of uh, Daz. Noxie a hundredth and a half off of uh, Enton. And then we've got another, quite a large gap between Noxie and, and Pat of an, of an eight tenths. Just shy two tenths between Yokas and Pat. Three tenths with finger jig behind Yokas. Wrong button. And then Jim's uh, ducked back into the pits. So, uh, now I'll just fill in time. Um, yeah, da 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 da. Um, Wow, this is actually quite hard. And now uh, start done the tables, done the outline. Two mins. Oh. Um. Yeah, I really don't know what else to say now. So we've done everything that we need to. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's let's ride on board with Koi and just have a uh, another run through on the lap, the whole lap this time. So it's quite important to to get a good exit when you're trying to set up a hot lap <clears throat> out the last corner give yourself as much of a launch as possible up the hill especially as it is uphill so the any speed you you lose at coming out of the last corner is going to be a, a big hit coming up the hill uh, we want to be breaking at roughly about 75 meters ish Ooh, closer to 50 for for koi there oh no he's paused he's backed out I see the hazards flashing thanks koi I don't believe he might be listening. Yes, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Get in there, get in there. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Let's ride that thing in a jig before he even starts. Pat with the small Y, Barry Twins, Daz, Jim, Ensign, all with the R's. Think of a jig with an R as well. Um, the original was Y. It's a question. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. I am ready. Not ready. In my mind, anyway. That's the way it works. Racer Brown saying good luck to everyone, and that's a, a sentiment I share. Good luck to absolutely everybody tonight, and uh, this should be some good racing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Whoosh. There you go. I'll well, copy the sound effects. A very nice uh, fish looking helmet there, Koi. And it has got a coil on the side of it as well. And Talleran saying good luck. Will he hit the ready? Ready, ready, ready. So at the moment we've got uh, Koi Carp and, and VRC Dads topping the timing sheets as we're going into quality. And the uh, countdown has finished and uh, Koi's about to start. So as we can see here, this is uh, this is why the uh, no stop is probably preferable. This is quite a long, drawn-out pit exit. Is that Enson out in front first? Let's, uh, no, not Enson.
Jim. Jim is out first. Seeing if he can carry on his form from uh, from last week and, and get another pole position under his belt. That's a very nice looking car. We won't ride on board of him, it's just their outlaps at the moment. But Jim looks like he's closely followed by Daz, who is closely followed by Koi Carp, his teammate. Ooh, could be seeing some towing games going along here. Jokas in sixth with Noxie coming out in seventh. Pat's come out in eighth. Barry Twins in ninth. Now, Ensign Ewart in ninth. And Thingamajig in ninth now. So, we'll keep an eye on Jim as he comes round to the start of the final sector, which is pretty much just this left hand corner. And then up the hill, take that. You, you, your lap time in qualifying is going to be so uh, so important with that final corner, the egg, the launch out of that final corner. Uh, apparently, uh, Koi Carp is on pad. Well, look, going by your practicing time, pad. That doesn't seem like it's going to be too much of a worry for you. So here we go. Jim's just started his, fi his first flying lap. That's it, nice and over that second apex curb. Uh, what do we do? Fancy shots. Which one's fancy shots? That one's fancy shots, isn't it? And uh, as we head down to turn four, again this we see we see a lot of guys trying overtakes into this corner and they don't always work out so well. It's 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 an off camber corner, you hit that inside curb too much, pushes you wide, and then you're in all sorts of pain. This is looking very smart from Jim. He's running a little bit wide there into turn uh, six and seven. Turn eight, the hairpin, again a little bit wide on, on the exit. Just compromises your, your your next corner with the, the hairpin. Another hairpin, that's all this track is, is a long straights with hairpins. Lovely track. One of my favorite, to be fair. Always uh, seem to do okay here. So. Jim's entered into the last sector now. How's he going to do through the last corner? Hits that apex, lovely. Nicely wide on the exit. Nothing too major. Coming up the hill. And Jim's about to set our first time, which will be... We wait with bated breath. So Jim's crossed the line with a 37.9. Daz half a tenth behind him with Koi Carp a uh, quarter of a second behind him Noxie six tenths behind Koi Carp with Yokas in fifth with just under half a second uh, Patch just jumped up into fifth uh, with a 139.2 no, Noxie Noxie's just jumped into fifth with a 38.9 Ensign Ewart how's Ensign Ewart getting on? Ensign Ewart, he's got a purple, is it? No, third place with a 138, is it Barry Twins? Barry Twins has taken pole by just over a tenth and a half with a 137.8. Well done, Barry. Well, provisional pole there for Team RB, or Team 86, sorry. Uh, RS Binko on the chat. Evening Skynet, signals keeps cutting out, so Pat will have to fly solo. Good luck, everyone. Looking forward to watching later. Oh, dear. So Pat's about his coach tonight. As we watch Jim coming round to the next sector. How's Jim getting on? He's up. He's eight hundred eight and a half hundreds up. No, 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 no. Uh, how do you follow where people are? Thing with you. So we'll keep an eye on Jim. He was eight times eight hundreds up through the last sector. Has he gained any more time coming out the last corner? He gets right over that pit entry line. It does nine thousandths off of Barry Twins. Wow. Who else? Daz. Daz goes faster. Where did Daz finish up? P4 with a 137.9. Koi Kart goes faster with 137.7. And Yokas faster with a 138.6. So where's Koi Kart? Koi Kart takes pole. So that's Team Psycho up there on pole. 
provisional pole. Look, look, Barry Twins snatches it back. Sorry, I keep missing everybody's laps. So Barry Twins have just snapped it back by a tenth from Koi Carp, who's uh, just over a tenth ahead of Jim, who's just a tenth and a half over Daz. Uh, Daz is just under half, four hundredths, just over four hundredths from Ensign Ewart, and then Thingamajiggy in P6 with uh, four tenths behind Ensign. Come on, Thingy, you can find those four tenths. Yokas in P7, two tenths behind Thingamajig with Pat, eight tenths behind Yokas, and Noxy three hundredths off of Pat. So here we go again. The next, uh, are we coming around again to to see the times again? Oh, he's down on his time that time. Jim, how's Barry Twins doing? He's purple again by the looks of it. Uh, we've got crossing the line then. That's. Watch Daz and Koi Carp as they cross the line, see if they can close in the gap to Barry Twins. Daz heads, heads up towards the line, he's, he's moving into the middle of the track. I'd be trying to stay left. Oh, he goes faster, but not fast enough. And Koi Carp doesn't improve his time on that lap. Barry Twins coming up to the line now. Uh, Noxy Noxy just set a new time of 138.04. Barry Twins does not improve. So where does that stick Noxy? Noxy's jumped up to P6, so let's have a quick rundown with five minutes left to go of qualifying. Barry Twins with a 137.6. Second place is Koi Carp. Oh no, Ensign. Ensign's just jumped up into first place with a 137.2. Snatching pole position by nearly four tenths of a second. That's quite a margin. That is quite a margin. I do believe that the top three will be on... No, they probably won't be because they're on teams. But, uh, the top the top three normally uh, on, on chat together with me, uh, funny enough, normally. But let's have a quick rundown then. So Ensign Ewart, uh, provisional pole from Barry Twins. Uh, Koi Karp in third. Daz in fourth. So another good showing from... Well, a good showing from Team Psycho with third and fourth. Locking out the second row at the moment. Jim in fifth, six thousandths behind Daz. I'll tell you what, we'll sit on board with Jim for a bit, just see how he gets on low, up the hill. Keep catching them as they go up the hill. With Noxie in sixth, Fingamidji in seventh, Yokas in eighth, for no one carry on once we see what Jim manages to get. No, oh, half a tenth off his own time. So we've got Noxie, so Team Talarand in fifth and sixth at the moment. Thingamajig in seventh. Koi Carp does improve. Koi Carp goes up to second place. So that's uh, Team Psycho in second and fourth, with Team Guesty in first and Team 86 in third, <coughs> with Team Talarand in fifth and sixth. Seventh is Yokas for, for Team 86. Ninth is Pat for Team RS. And Ensign Ewart's has just gone across the line, but not improved his time yet. And Thingamajig's coming across, coming up to the line now. It's got greens. It's got greens. Oh, oh six tenths, six seconds. I gather he must have had a, a little bit of an off there. So we've got two and a, two and a half minutes left of qualifying. With uh, Ensign Ewart three and a half tenths up from. VRC Koi Carp. Yeah. Where's Jim? Where's Jim? Fifth. Fifth. Nope. I'm missing them going over the line. Noxie. How's Noxie getting on? Eight temps down on his, on his uh, personal best. I'll tell you what, leave you with the uh, provisional pole sitter for a second.
Hello, oh, I'm back. Sorry about all that. Uh, in the chats, Talaran saying hi. Hi, Talaran. And Matt Psycho is saying evening. Good evening, sir. So despite my running off, Ensign Ewart is still in first place, provisional pole, with one minute left. This will probably... Mm, I think the front bunch will, will get another lap in. So that'll be uh, Jim and Koi Karp, Daz. Maybe, uh, is that Barry? No, who's that bunch there? Maybe Jim? No, Jim's out front, isn't he? Yeah, I think most of them will get another lap, to be fair. So then, uh, let's uh, let's sit on board for the last final lap with with Jim. Or well, let's let's watch Jim seven thousandths of his own time there. Daz does improve. Daz jumps up to P4. What did he say? Was he in P4? Yeah, he was in P4 because Team Psycho is second and, and fourth. Noxy, Noxy jumps up, stays P6. He does improve, but stays P6. So it's still uh, Team Talaround locking out the third row. Can anybody get in between them? This is their final lap now. So Pat, I think Pat's the first one to finish in ninth with a 38.7 and Ensign Ewart, Ensign Ewart did not improve towards the end of the session so provisional pole that's all he's going to manage to get at the moment and who's come across the line at the moment thingamajig his greens his greens are oh, two temps down on his own time it's very very consistent laps though there thingamajig very consistent so then let's have a look at who's got left who's left to run to so Jim We'll see how Jim gets on round this last corner. Uh, heading into the last sector, see if he's up. He's up, half, half a second up nearly. Can he keep it? Can he get, gain that extra temp to take provisional pole from the last corner? <clears throat> Is he going to manage it coming up the hill? And I'd be uh, staying as far left as I possibly could, take the shortest luck run to the line. Yeah, see, he's moving over to the middle of the track. I'd be right over there on the right-hand side. He does improve, but does not be Ensign by attempt. But, uh, what am I doing? So Daz, Daz jumps up into P3 with Koi Karp in P4. Yeah, they finished P4 for, for Koi Karp. Noxy. Noxy does not improve. Barry Twins. Coming up towards the line now. It's our last last man to finish. It does not improve. So Ensign knew it by attempt from Jim. Well done, boys. Hey, look at that. That's that's a close grid. That is just uh, just about a second and a half, but from first place to to P9. So here we go. Let's see if I can get a better starting shot from last time. So function. So we have Ensign, Jim, Daz, Koi, Barry, Noxy, Yokas, Thingamajig, and Pat. In that order, that was a bit quick. One, bring that back. Oh, no, my pad's turned off. Idiot. There we go. And we're watching Ensign Ewart. Oh, is that a jump start there from the, from Daz? Oh, Daz has jump started. So everyone, watch out, guys. There you go, everyone's got round him nicely. So Ensign Ewart coming straight to the inside to cover off the attack from Jim. Jim right in his, up his rear bumper with uh, Koi Karp on his outside. Now on the inside, Koi Karp's taking the inside line. Is there a little bit of contact there maybe? Maybe a tiny little bit, but Jim has recovered nicely back onto track. Uh, fighting with his teammate. Teammate is side by side. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. Oh, what are we doing? There we go. So Noxie side by side with Barry Twins. Heading into turn four, this is what I said, you don't want to squeeze them. Yeah, a little bit of a, it's a tough one to make a corner, uh, move in that corner. So Noxie up into third place. Ahead of his teammate and Yokas who are side by side. And Yokas pinned to the outside and Jim, Jim taking the inside line. Plenty of room given. Uh, and now Jim's under attack from Barry Twins. Barry Twins following his teammate through, through the hairpin section. Jim pinned on the outside of, of that apex. <clears throat> uh, thingamajig in seventh. Uh, I think that's where he started. No, maybe. 
I don't know, I can't remember. This is really hard. Uh, and with, with Pat uh, in eighth and Daz we're trying to recover from that uh, from that full start at the, at the beginning of the race. So still Ensign a second ahead of Koi Karp. Koi Karp uh, is now two seconds ahead of Noxie. <clears throat> Noxie's still got Yokas breathing down his neck with his teammate Barry Twins uh, right behind him. Um, maybe be looking to play a rear gunner role or is he trying to make a move on his teammate up the outside? Is Yokas trying to make a move on, uh, on Noxie? Y Yokas looks like he's making a move. Is he going to do a Max Verstappen? No, clever boy. He doesn't stick his nose in there. But is this going to give a run on uh, Barry Twins a run on Yokas? Uh, it, Barry Twins is ahead as they head down towards turn four. Barry Twins nicely tucked up in Noxie's toe. Is he going to get a bit of slipstream? He moves out to make the move. And he runs wide, losing grip. Now he's got to leave room for his teammates to come through. And now it's Yokas' turn to, to have a crack at Noxie. With Jim, Jim's closing in just behind this, this trio ahead. Uh, making it a four-way fight. If they keep fighting, they'll, they'll slow themselves down and, and end up dragging them, dragging in uh, Pat, Daz and Thingamajig, who, who aren't very far behind them. <coughs> so they are only two seconds behind Jim. Uh, and this fight up here, this is uh, this is getting good. And Juicy will come back to it. So Ensign Newitt still leads by nearly a second, eight temps ahead of Dan, um, Koi. Koi is two and a half ahead of this little fighting pack. Uh, so what, let's get on board with Barry Twin, shall we? Five, two, J. There we go. Oh, just as you just seen, he's just made the move on, on his teammate. As we see Jim, Jim's getting on the tone there, and Barry Twins moves over to protect his teammate. No, his teammate's deciding to move over and, and try to take the inside line, which is too late. As Jim, Jim and Yokas go side by side into turn one and turn two, they're still there, still fighting, just just enough room there, just enough room, but look at how they're fighting as, uh, as that Barry Twins just, just go straight after Noxie. He's sitting in Noxie's toe now. Jim, Jim has taken the place from Yokas. So Barry Twins closing down with Noxy and Jim getting ahead of Yokas with Yokas trying to come back at him by the looks of it. And now he's sitting in behind him with Daz. Daz is closing in on this uh, this little uh, split up two way team 86 and team Talaran scrapping out. With Pat just ahead of Thingamajig. Thingamajig still fighting with Pat. And uh, I, think, I think we all root for Thingamajig. You know, quietly, if we're not allowed to properly, but we'd all love to see him do well and, and, and get, see him have some good fights. So, Enton Ewitt up front, still about eight temps ahead of, of Koi Karp. Koi Karp, I think that they've pulled away from Noxie quite a bit now, three seconds. But Barry Twins, Barry Twins, what's happened here? Barry Twins got a run. Got a run on Noxie. Moves to the outside to, to, to try and get a run. No, wrong button. Which one's which? Is that one the close up? So Noxie's having to stay close to the to the wall to defend his inside line. Barry Twins going for the outside. Does oh, he's doing the old switcheroo back. And he's on the outside for turn two. Runs a little bit wide for turn three, but just over the curb. And I think there was not quite a lot of room left there, but now Noxie's under fire from his teammate. Jim, Jim, right up the bumper of Barry Twins. Is he going to make a move into turn four? He does, does make a move into turn four. Late breaking and, oh, Jim runs wide. Jim runs wide, but recovers it back on. I don't, it's too close. That one. So again, Noxie and Barry Twins side by side going up the hill. Look, point four, here we go. And Noxie has taken position off of uh, Barry Twins. So that might have been a little bit of a redress for, for the cut in turn three. And look at this, now Daz and Pat have closed right up, right up to the action. With Thingy Jig still there, still still right in there, in with a shout, especially with these guys, if they uh, 
they start getting scruffy and scrappy with each other. Let's have a look at Ensign. Ensign half a second ahead of Coy at the moment. Is Coy going to be able to uh, close that half a second in? He took, took three tenths out of him that lap. So anyway, so if we have a look at the tyres, uh, as we can see, the tyres are starting to show a bit of red on the front there. <coughs> Coy and Ensign virtually identical. Their Coys are a little bit worse than Ensigns. With uh, Noxie. Noxie still still scrapping with Barry Twins. Jokas has managed, yep, Jokas uh, got ahead of Jim when Jim ran wide. Is that thing of a jig making a move? Where is it? The thing of a jig makes a move on Pat. Oh, I'm rewinding that bad boy. Why aren't you working? Oh. Can't get the replays to work. No, I can't get the replays to work. Despite pressing the buttons, I was told. So Ensign still three temps, two temps. So well, let's get on board with uh, with Koi Kart. As he moves out for the wide line into the turn five, six, five, six, yeah, six, turn seven. Ensign moves to the right to defend the inside line into the first hairpin. Koi quite rightly uh, sits back a little bit. Get okay, over them curves, foot down, get over the curve on the right hand side to attack. And uh, it looks like he might be saving it for the for the hill. Ooh, that was a bit tight. Oh, that might be a little bit of spotty lag there, because that, that car looked like it was driving crabbing. And crabbing and wiggling to the side. So as they break down for the last corner. Yeah, it's hard, six temps now. I think the gap, the gap has grown a bit, but these two have got some time to, to afford to fight with, uh, with Noxie behind him. For nearly, yeah, four, blah, 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 five seconds behind him. I can't get my words out. Last week it was I didn't want, I couldn't talk properly. This week I just can't get my words out. So Noxie P3 with Barry Twin still breathing down his neck with Yokas closing in with them two as well. Jim, Jim just about saving off Dad, Dad's at the moment. We're seeing the jig and Pat still slogging it out. Good boys. Oh, a, a green, green, black and white livery. Mwah. Absolutely beautiful. Well, lots of R's as well. Or is he, is he changed the R's for smiley faces? I don't know, it's a bit far. What's going on at the front there? So they're still stalemate. Three temps. Three temps apart for them, uh, for Ensign and Koi Karp. Noxie's pulled out a second from uh, Barry Twins. Barry Twins, two temps. Five temps ahead of his teammate with Jim. Still not very far behind him at all. Still having to, to fight off with Daz. With Thingamajig still ahead of Pat. He's got the fastest lap. Koi Kart, fastest lap. Who's closed in on him on, on Ensign now? Let's have a look. See if we can get a good exit out of the last corner to have a run at, run at Ensign Ewart down the uh, finish straight into turn one. It's a little bit better than last lap. Are we? Uh, yeah, we're gaining. So this down to five temps now. Slip right in that in that wake that, that the Mazda ahead is creating. So I don't know how. Uh, yeah, three temps for three temps. I think we're still too far back to make a move into turn one. Down the second gear, get over that apex. That's it. And again, we still have a good chance of a run, run into turn four. And like I said, it's not the wisest place to make a move, but it is possible if you give each other some wiggle room. And then Ensign Ewart moves right over to the left to defend. Koi Kart breaks on the spot. Just Ensign run a little bit wide, go open in the door for Koi Kart to stick his nose in, and he does. They're side by side. Side by side on the run up to turn five. No, six. Koi Karp on the outside. Ensign defending his line nicely. I mean, we've, we've seen we've seen Ensign race everybody. He races fairly and cleanly. And Koi Karp going for the switchback. We all race fairly and clearly, to be fair. But Ensign races everybody. Doesn't let anybody pass. 
but uh, it looks like that move might have just dried up. He might have to wait for another minute or two for another lap. Or is he still, is he still on his uh, still right on his bumper? Let's have a quick run through. So Noxie, Noxie has dropped back five seconds now. That's another second or so that he's lost on this lap. With Barry Ten still still right up his rear bumper. Jim, Jim's got himself ahead of. Uh, he's still ahead of Daz. Oh, Yokas, Yokas has dropped back behind Jim and Daz. Um, might have made a small mistake and now we just saw that Fingy is still ahead of Pat uh, flying through the last corner just there that, that, uh, Barry Twins looking to make a move on Noxie the Barry Twins hugging the inside line now to switches to the outside line oh, this is that camera angle that's why Fingy and Jig don't like it no there's no move on there at the moment what about on the run down to turn four? Noxie going very, very defensive very early. Feeling that Barry Twins has got a small run on him, better exit out of the corner. No, still a little bit too far back, getting all over those curbs. Still no door open. What's going on behind him? Jim is now really under fire from Daz. Daz pinned to the outside line. Jim runs a little bit wide. Daz has got his nose up the inside. And Daz is through. Is, is Yokas going to follow him through as well? Yes, unfortunately, Jim then run a little bit wide there in turn six and seven. And that opened the door for, to, for two drivers to go through. Now Yokas is up the inside of, um, of Daz on the exit. Daz carrot covering that inside line for the next right-hander. Uh, and some, some elbows out, some muscle being shown, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of rubbing here and there. With Daz, uh, Daz staving off uh, an attack from, from Yokas and sitting nicely in fifth place, considering that uh, he was right at the back at the start of the race from, from a full start. It's not a bad recovery there from Daz at all. <clears throat> Thingamajig is still ahead of Pat. Lap times are starting to drop off now, though, because of the tyre wear. So Enson knew it. And he knew it stayed fairly consistent, actually. Very consistent. He's a pad user. Uh, he's used to using a pad, so he, he's clearly used to managing with his tyre wear. And I think this might be the last lap. We've only got one minute 20 left on the clock with uh, Koikart a second behind. Enter knew it. And Noxie five seconds behind. One second ahead of Baz, though. And Daz, Daz still fighting with Yokas. Is Yokas going to make a move around the outside of turn five? Turn four? God, this is bad, isn't it? Oh, I'm losing my marbles. You know, Daz still manages to hold it off for the moment. Yokas, now he's, he's got a dilemma. Does he want to get past Daz? But that risks opening the door for Jim to take his, second, his sixth place off him. We'll come back to this in a second. So Jim, plenty of time ahead of Pat. Pat's have got himself ahead of Thingamajig. Oh no, Thingy. It's all right, chin up, head down. Keep plugging away. They'll come. They'll come. So Enter knew it, pulled out 1.3 seconds. So he's, uh, he's really put his foot down on the last lap here, isn't he? Koi Karp still with that fastest lap with a 138.4. As they run up to the line, is there going to be enough time? Oh, I think that Enter and Coin might get another lap in, you know. 10 seconds left. Is he going to stay all the way to the left-hand side? Is he going to start flashing his lights? No, he's going to get across the line, isn't he? So Ensign and Coy can't get across the line, so that's going to be Noxie in third place. Well done, well, well defended, good, good drive. Barry Twins in fourth, put pressure on Noxie the whole time. Daz in fifth, well done, good recovery. Yokas in sixth, Jim, Jim in sixth, Pat in, set in, sorry, Jim in seventh, Pat in eighth. Thing with Jig bringing it home in ninth place with, and we'll watch these two, see if anything happens uh, in the last, last lap. So we're down to one third left in the tank, um, over 15 minutes. Some fuel saving will be needed definitely for the feature race uh, and the tyres are maybe about about 20% worn on the front mm. obviously with the mediums the mediums you know probably 20 40% worn um, for the whole race and the feature race but we'll, we'll see what's happening we're just uh, watching Ensign come around and, and Koi Karp 
a, a, a lap of honour for these two. I don't, th I don't think Corey's got the tyres to, to have a fight, to, to, to have an answer to, uh, to Ensign's win tonight. But I know, I know Corey will give it a bloody good go. And as they come up the hill, <clears throat> I think it's uh, fairly safe to say right now that uh, Ensign Hewitt takes the win, unless he does some Barry Twin stuff of trying to find his flashing lights button. Does he know where his flashing lights are? Is he even going to flash? <sighs> it doesn't flash. Man's got style with Koi Carp in second place. Well done, guys. So, <clears throat> Ensign Hewitt, Koi Carp, Noxie, Barry, Daz, Yokas, Jim. I forgot the rest. Well done. Ensign Hewitt with his trophy. With his rich energy uh, overalls on there. Well done, guys. Good good race. Some some brilliant battles there. Good job. So, uh, let's head up to the race results, shall we? So, Ensign Hewitt. Um, led from, from lights to flag. Uh, didn't really look like he was under any 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 risk of losing it. Uh, I know we we didn't really uh, see very much of him because there was always a, about a second ish gap between him and and Koi Karp. But a uh, a well deserved commanding victory, I think, uh, is the way to describe that one. Koi Karp in second place again kept the pressure on, just could not get the man in front to crack, uh, despite. Securing the uh, securing the fastest lap on on lap three with a one thirty eight point four eight zero. Noxie rounding off the podium, taking the final step with uh, P three. So that's a that's a podium so far in every race for Noxie. Um, not quite making over the line for for the extra lap, uh, but still a good job uh, considering he had to to fight his way through as well. Um, I think I think that's a, that's a good result there for Noxie. Barry in uh, P4, again, put the pressure on all, all the way, fighting the whole time, not not giving Noxie or anybody else uh, a moment to, to rest and, and have a breather. <clears throat> Daz in P5, considering he jump-started off the line, that's a, that's a solid recovery, you can't really argue with that very much at all. Yokas in P6, again, the, the Yokas fights, always fights, brilliant, always fighting. Jim P7, he made that small mistake, ran a bit wide, uh, and I think that that cost him, um, uh, you know, a chance to fight with Barry and Daz uh, and Yokas mainly, um, to, for a chance of P4 uh, to 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 knock out uh, to secure P4 uh, for a, a, you know, a P3 P4 finish for his team. Uh, with Pat in, in eighth, uh, fighting with Thingy Rajig, um, who showed spells there and. Um, Obviously, we don't know what happened. We couldn't see. The replay function wouldn't work, so that I'm going to have to go and have a word with somebody about that. Anyway, uh, let's catch up with the chat quickly. Uh, great race. Matt Psycho saying, great race. And uh, Matt Sykes saying, well done, Team Psycho, indeed. Uh, good race to Sliding Dan. Sliding Dan? Drifting Dan. Great win, Dan. Uh, apparently, Muddy saying that he just couldn't catch him. Uh, well, we say that about the boy's got quicks, so he's uh, he's definitely a, a regular race race winner. Um, I can't remember. Pat did send me a doodad. Uh, let's have a look. See how many uh, how many races Ensign has won since he's joined the club. Bear with me a second. Let's see how quickly this loads. I should have loaded it beforehand. What did I? It did. I did, I did, I did. I did, I did, I did, I did. So, Ensign knew it. Ensign so far has four win race wins, so this will be number five. Um, and his short time in the club, um, he only joined with us in May, earlier on in the year. So, he's, uh, he's, he's an early bird to get start getting race wins. Uh, I'm sure he'll be a, a champion of the future. Uh, one to keep an eye on for sure. So anyway, let's uh, crack on then. What we got? 20.45. I've got nine minutes. Hmm. Tell you what. I'm going to... Oh, nobody's out on track. Oh, well. Back in a bit. <laughs>
Alrighty, hello guys and gals, I'm back. Let's catch up with the chat, shall we? Uh, Ensign Ewan, cheers guys. Uh, Ensign Ewan, I did that last week as well, called him Ewan. Uh, cheers guys, I'm about to have a heart attack. Coy made me work for that, he most definitely did, mate. He definitely did. Uh, Talaran fighting just as hard as the, at the back as at the front. That's, uh, that's the VRC way, isn't it, Talaran? Doesn't matter where you look, there's always a fight. <clears throat> watching uh, Matt Sykes, uh, Psycho, uh, watching is worse than driving. I'm sure it is, especially when uh, your team points are on the line and your drivers are are, uh, are fighting out for positions, especially podiums and wins. Yeah, Barry, I did mean drifting down. Um, Barry also saying that there was that tire wear was a problem in the last few laps. Yeah, as I said before, being a four-wheel drive car, um, when you get to the end of the end of the race, it's going to be a bit of a struggle um, to 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 have the tires left to fight, and it's a tricky balancing act. Do you, do you use up all your tires at the start of the race to, to gain positions, or do you reserve them a little bit and, and and save them for fighting towards the end, which um, I'm, I'm always pre more preferable to uh, use them all up in one go, shall we say. <clears throat> so then, let's have a look, quick peruse and see what tyres they potentially might be starting on. So thingamajig on the mediums, with Pat on the mediums as well. I'd be very surprised if anybody's not on the mediums. Uh, Noxie on the mediums, <clears throat> Ensign's on the mediums, Basley's on the on the medium, on the medium, 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 medium. Barry's on the mediums. Uh, Jim is on the mediums. Yaka is also on the mediums. Daz softs or is he going out for? Uh, I mean, last week we did see he had softs on on practice. Um, we did do a last minute change uh, to mediums right at the very last minute. And Koi Cup also looking to go out on soft tyres with a nice Koi logo on the back there. I don't know how long we've got left. We've got one minute left till the start of the second race. Is that ready? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am ready. See, now that's where Talaran goes, isn't it? You don't put a question mark at the end, whereas I normally do. We're going to hang about a bit, wait for Thingamajig. Thingamajigs are Pat with a maybe. Pat always, always filled with confidence at the start of a race. Daz, Daz is not changing tyres and not, neither is Koi. Is this a reverse grid? I, I can't remember. Valorant, is it a reverse grid? I think it is. With a rolling start. Yes, rolling start. Yes, and reverse grid, because I remember last week, Noxy left the lobby and, and we had to reset, and that's where Daz changed his tyres. Crafty. Very crafty, but he's uh, him and Coy seem to be uh, happy to start on softs at the moment. Nothing changing, the Venture knew it, now paused up. Thingamajig paused. Pat's still going around. We'll sit, we'll sit with Pat for a little while. Let's get some uh, fancy shots. Of uh, the beautiful Repsol. Can't remember what energy drink that was. Oop, Tyler Anders started the final. Bring everything back up. What energy drink was it on the Team RS's car? Zyber. I don't know how they put if that's how you pronounce it. Matt Psych Team Psycho going aggressive, very aggressive, going for the soft tyres at the start. Considering how far back on the grid, uh, especially Corey Carp's going to be starting. So we have Thing Widget on pole with Pat, Jim, Yokas, Daz, Barry Twins, Noxy, Corey Carp, and Ensign Neuro bringing up the rear. Get rid of that, bring that back, get rid of that. There we go. So we see Thing Majig. Leading them away for the rolling start. So what we'll do, we'll sit on board with Yokas, I think, for the start. And we'll see how they get on into the first corner from Yokas' uh, point of view. Straight in behind uh, Jim there for the toe. And then very quickly up into second, third, fourth gear. Yokas. I thought Yokas was a wheel user. Looks more like Yokas is using the pad. The, the jerky movements on the wheel. Oh, Daz is right up behind. 
uh, Jokas there. Very aggressive start for the Team Psycho boys. Going for the soft tyres early on. Daz looks like he's not. He's lining up. Jokas. Jokas moving over. And again, ooh, that looked a little bit more like two moves to me. Daz right up his bumper. Looking to make a move. Looking for the door. Is the door open now? But that's going to be the outside line into the turn six. He moves to the inside. Doesn't think, yeah, he thinks twice about it. He dives up the inside. No, wrong button. Ooh, with Jokas and Daz. Daz makes the moves. Daz makes the move. Early doors up in the P4. No, is he redressing? I'm lost. What's going on? What's going on? So we've got Jim in third place, hot staving off. Daz, Jokas and Barry Twins. Daz and Jokas still side by side. Now, now Daz is clearly ahead. And Jokas and Barry Twins side by side again. Is that Koi Carb looking to make a move on Noxie? Noxie making, looking to make a move on Jokas into the last corner on the outside line. Does he make his stick? He does make his stick. Ooh, side by side still. All the way up the hill is a drag race with Koi Carp slipping up the inside of Noxie. Koi Carp using those soft tyres to get, ahead and, uh, get himself ahead of Noxie. And now he's right up the chuff of, um, of Jokas. Looking to make a move, getting into Barry Twins' toe. Seeing the jig still leading with Pat in second, with Jim in third. No, Daz, Daz has just made a move in the third place. I, I'm under the toe into turn one. A textbook move. And Barry Twins still heading off from Jokas and Jim. So what we've got? We've got Daz, Daz in P3. Daz is the man on the move at the moment in the opening laps. God, just about to say, ooh, he's getting purples, but everybody gets purples on the second lap. And he runs a little bit wide there in, in turn four and five. Is that going to hurt his tyres going into six? Going up the hill, closing in on Pat. Takes a nice inside line, doesn't look like running wide's affected his tyres too much. Normally you get a lot of dirt on. And he, ooh, Daz chucks it up the inside of Pat. Then side by side again for the for the left hand hairpin. Daz is on the outside though. Pat squeezing him. Yeah, that's good clean racing, a bit of rubbing. Daz on the inside again for the for the next right hand hairpin. Pat runs wide, Pat runs wide, giving the run on for Jim. Jim gets past Pat as well. Pat losing two positions in uh, half a lap there. Now Daz sets his sights on Fingerbidjig. Fingerbidjig running a little bit wide there on the corner. Giving Daz the clean run up the hill. Is, is he staying in the toe? He's elected not to be there. He's going for the toe. Daz now moves out of the, out of the slipstream. Fingerbidjig stays really wide to the right hand side of the track there. That's the long way around the track my friend not the way you want to go now Daz Daz takes the lead now the objective here is to, to, to sprint away to get away as far as, as far down the road as you can because you're going to be losing 30 seconds to, to stop 35-ish seconds when you stop so um, now we're looking elsewhere then so Thingamajig in second place he's got half a second over Jim Jim will be closing in on Thingamajig with Pat Pat just clinging on to the back of Jim Barry Twins still ahead of Noxie, or is ahead of Noxie, one or the other, I can't remember. Um, but not by much at all. Jokas, Jokas ahead of uh, Ensign Hewitt and, and the soft tyre Koi Karp is bringing up the rear. Uh, one would have to think that maybe he made a small mistake there. Because he was uh, up further, further up the field fighting. Now he's fighting with Ensign Hewitt in 8th and ninth place. Goes up the inside. Now he's on the outside for the next corner. Is he going to play the switch back? No, he doesn't have enough legs on him. Barry Twins still just ahead of uh, Noxie. Ooh, is that Ensign? Ensign's out wide. Ensign's out wide, allowing Koi Karp through. Koi Karp hugging straight into the toe for Jokas. Noxie, Noxie looks like he might be uh, making a move on, on Barry Twins up the hill. And we still see Daz, Daz pulling out a one and a half second gap in this in this lap. With Thingamajig still in second place, still with Noxie about eight tenths behind him. He's just outside of the toe. He just needs to concentrate on his exit out of the last corner to get the good toe up the hill from, from Thingamajig. Pat very close behind, he's closed in on Jim this lap. 
Noxie runs wide, Noxie's run wide, making a move on Barry Twins. Barry Twins still there. <coughs> no, Jokas has got ahead of Barry Twins now and there's Koi Karp on following Jokas through. Turn three, he's now got a run on Jokas on the inside line. He's got Noxie's toe. Nah, he decides to back out. Oh, does he? No, I don't know there. That looked like a little bit of bumpy bumpy. But Nox, uh, Koi Karp using the grip of the tyres to to pull himself ahead of um, Noxie. There looked like a little bit of argy bargy there, but maybe uh, Koi didn't realise that, that Jokas was the other side of Noxie. And uh, where are we now? Jokas in P7. With, uh, Ensign Europe going up the inside for the first hairpin. Now he's on the outside. Will he get a chance to switch it back? He hasn't got the overlap. He's still got overlap. Has to sit in behind him on the run to the next hairpin. With Barry Twins now in P9. Uh, bringing up the rear, but I'm sure he's got some sort of plan or strategy in his mind of what, what he'll be doing next. So Daz, Daz now three and a half seconds ahead of Thingamajig. This is what he needs to do. He needs to run. He needs to bolt. He needs to get right out of dodge. Remember, 35 seconds. That's what he needs over second place. To well, he didn't need 35 seconds. Obviously, he'll come out on fresh soft, uh, fresh mediums, and have a bit more grip than the guys behind him. Uh, setting a 38.4. That's uh, pretty much what we were seeing as the fastest lap for the sprint race. So he's uh, he's chucking in some quality laps, but how long will those soft tires last with with chucking in qualifying laps? Thingamajig, Thingamajig's being breathed on by uh, Jim now. Jim's applying the pressure. Car number 66 against car 11. Uh, Jim moves to the inside. Is he going to out late break? Late breaks up the inside of Thingamajig. Is there room? Oh, Thingamajig runs wide. Was there contact? Replays to work. No, can't get the replays to work. We don't know if there was contact. It looked like there might have been a little bit, but I'm not going to say yes or no because I don't have the angles. And uh, that 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 move has has dropped Thingamajig down to fourth place. As Pat has got ahead of him as well. Koi Karp now closing in on these uh, on these this little trio. He's pulled himself ahead of Noxy by 1.2 seconds. But again, he's he's in the same boat as Daz. He's, he's got to get in front of these medium runners and and bolt and get down the road as far as he can um i say 35 seconds ish for a pit stop but realistically as i was saying that um they've stopped they'll come out on on newer medium tires so they'll have more grip than, than these guys uh, who potentially are, are looking to go uh, all the way to the end barry twins Jokas and ensign still gripped together in, in a fight um we don't know if there's any fuel saving or anything like that going on at the moment. I haven't looked, to be fair. I haven't paid that much attention to it. But Ensign Newark lining Jokas up. Moves to the inside. Late breaks into turn one. Will he hug the apex? He does hug the apex. Takes the apex well. Gets himself alongside. Uh, Jokas defensive position in the T2. And Ensign has to pull back into ninth place and follow Jokas down the straight. And that um, just gives Barry Twins a little bit of a breather. He's now got uh, a second over Jokas and two and a half seconds. Ooh. Benson Ewan makes a move into turn four and just about keeps it on the curb, keeps it on the track. Will Jokas come back up to him up, up the hill? But he's uh, showing, showing Jokas the outside line. That's the only way you're going, mate. You're not going around the inside of me. He runs a little bit wide. That opens the door, does it? Is Jokas going to stick his nose in? No, he doesn't. He backs out. He, he sensibly pulls in behind. Let's just have a quick look. Dad's seven seconds now. Seven seconds over Jim. Jim's got Pat breathing down him. Breathing down his neck. Applying the pressure. Making sure that he keeps him honest. I remember that uh, Jim did win uh, last week's feature race. Um, with with not with not seeing second place um behaving a little bit like a rear gunner i suppose maybe um but apparently there, there was no team orders they, they were allowed to fight but i think the drivers decided to sensibly protect the one two uh and a, a sensible move it was like that koi Kart closing in on pat and jim starting to see some red on his uh, front tires now how long can you go uh, noxie p5 
the second and a half behind Coy. That's not grown that much, really, considering the tyre difference. Barry Twins now two and a half seconds, 2.8 behind Noxie, with Ensign Ewart pulling further ahead from Jokas. Oh, no. Thingamajig. Thingamajig has dropped down. Oh, he must have had an off. One minute 50 second lap. He must have had a run wide or, or had some sort of an adventure. Um, that's it again. Just, just keep your head down. Keep plugging on. There is still plenty of time to rescue something. We're only 10 minutes through this race. Well, nearly 11 minutes through this race. So plenty of time left to go. Daz, Daz now nine seconds, nine and a half seconds nearly ahead of the field. He's doing what he needs to do to secure this victory. Koi Karp's up to second place. Oh, I'm so sorry, missing this. Koi Karp up to second place, using those soft tyres well, so he's passed Pat and Jim um, since we last looked at them, which was less than a lap ago. Um, but now he's got to do what Daz does. He's got to get after Daz uh, and start applying, uh, start putting in some quality laps and, and start stretching away from the rest of the pack. So Jim, happily in third, looks like he's managing everything quite well. Uh, Pat still breathing down his neck, but uh, Jim seems to be dealing with the pressure well. Noxie is closing in on these on these uh, the guys ahead of him. He's only got one second behind Pat. Uh, Pat has obviously got the, the toe from, from Jim, his teammate ahead, so he will have the advantage up the straight. Pat Miller can look to make, make a move into turn one. Up the inside, breaks late. Doesn't run wide of the apex, good move. Jim's still got the se uh, second apex. Jim uh, rescues that, still stays in third place. Still a long way to go. Lots of fighting to be had. Barry Twins still in sixth place with uh, three and a half seconds to Noxie, but he's pulled out two seconds against Enton Ewart. Enton Ewart is nearly three seconds ahead of Jokas. And Thingy Jig looks like he's closing in on, on Jokas. So uh, he's it was a little bit more than that last time we looked, I think. I think Majid going blues, meaning that he's setting his, his fastest sector from, from his compared to his last fastest lap, which is a 1 minute 40.3. Anyway, Daz does 9.7, but now that he's got Koi, Koi's got a second on Jim. So let's have a look at fuel. Daz just under half. Koi, half. Jim, Jim's doing good with fuel, just over half. Pat, similar to Jim, just over half. Noxie, just over half. Barry Twins, a little bit less, just just over half. Ensign Newitt, just over half. Jokas, just over half. And Thingamajig, just over half. So definitely the, the the Team Psycho boys definitely burning their fuel a bit better, a bit more. But I suppose if you're trying to rabbit, you're going to have to burn the fuel to, to try and go. I mean, you know you're going to have to stop, so a quick splash and dash isn't going to help whilst you're changing your rubber as well. But Koi Karp has pulled about a second away from Jim. Jim's still still under pressure from, from Pat. I tell you what, let's ride on board with Pat, shall we? Uh, pad's turned off again, so I need to sort that out for next week. So Pat breathing all over the back of Jim. With uh, Noxie still closing in the gap, less than a second now. Pat on the run, has got the outside line into turn four. Can I do that? I can do that. Look at that. He's pulling alongside him. Out breaks later. Jim's with the inside line. Takes control of the apex and keeps control of uh, third place. Now Pat's been shown the outside again. Noxie's ever cl getting closer. Ever closer. Uh, uh, being silly now. There you go. Pat is really under pressure from Noxie now. The team Talarand ganging up on, on, on Pat. Oh, Pat is, uh, well, Team Talarand Pat sandwich, shall we call it. Is Pat looking to make a move? Is he trying to make a move on Jim or is he trying to defend his position against Noxie? Which one do you do? He's sticking his nose up the inside of Jim. Jim's forced a little bit wide, but still on the track. Pat makes a move up in the inside into the, la into the last corner, or the last real corner. Nope, Jim's still there, Jim's still there, fine. And Noxie's ahead, Noxie's alongside uh, Pat too. Oop, that, wrong buttons, wrong buttons. What am I doing? Fourth. And that's Noxie ahead of Jim. Uh, Pat, sorry, with Pat, with Jim in P3. Noxie in P4, with Pat in P5. That, with that one move, 
that's all it takes when you're in on a small little pack like this one move and, and you open the door for, for guys behind you to, to, to make a move up, up alongside you and, and it cost you a place but Pat's coming back at him wow that, that was really fast really fast move there from Pat Pat now making a move on Jim and now he's got the inside line he's got the inside line on the run to T4 will he outbreak himself or will he keep it nice and tight to the exit he does outbreak himself a little bit allowing Jim back through and Noxie's got a run on him as well yep now see he's got a slip behind Noxie again this is some brilliant racing between these three Pat once again looking at open doors or is he looking to open the doors that's the question isn't it sticking his nose in here and the nose in there here there everywhere everywhere a nose nose and again in the, in the hairpin sticking his nose up the inside of uh, Noxie Noxie but still got the inside line for the next corner side by side action is brilliant and still they're side by side going through the left hand corner towards the last corner Pat's still managing to just stay ahead of Noxie will he, will he get a run on Jim up the hill this time or will Noxie get a run on Pat we'll have to wait and see there we go Daz Daz is in Daz is in, he's got about, yeah, he's looking uh, about the same sort of wear as what they were in the sprint race with a, a third of a tank left, whilst Koi, Koi Carp is also in. So I don't think they got the, they got the, uh, the legs that they needed. So Jim takes the lead of this feature race as we come up to 13 minutes remaining with half a second on Pat with Noxie in third place. Pat's dropped back a little bit now from Jim. Or is it just that he's just going for a slingshot? get dropped back a little bit to get a better toe down the straight he's sitting behind in the, in the slipstream again still in that sandwich and Noxie's making a move Noxie looking pulling out of the toe to make a move up the inside he does late break does make the apex does make the corner and forcing Pat down into third place <clears throat> will Noxie make a move on his teammate go and look, take the inside line takes the inside line into turn one, two, three, four, five, six, turn seven. Noxie takes the lead in turn seven on lap 11 with just over 12 minutes to go. Will Jim be able to fight off Pat for the remainder of the race? We'll have to wait and see. Barry Twins in P4 closing in a little bit on Pat by the looks of it. Uh, it was over, over two seconds last time we had a look. Enter knew it in P5, three and a half seconds behind Barry Twins with Jokas just over a second and a half behind Ensign Newitt. Again, there's the, the pace is close, the pace is similar. Daz has come out in P7. Eight seconds behind Jokas and 17 seconds behind the leaders. I think that might be a bit too much to ask in the uh, closing stages of this race. Koi Karp in P8. Again, 27 seconds behind the leaders. I don't, I don't think that's enough time to, to pour it back, but... We don't know, we never know. The Team Psycho boys might be able to uh, claw back the distance and, and, uh, and catch up with the, the guys ahead of them. With Thingamajig, looking like I have a really torrid time. He had a 2.13.3 .3, uh, on lap nine. Uh, must have been a torrid lap, so. Comes up the hill. We did see that he was blue in his last sector. We'll just sit with him for a bit to see if uh, if he does set a faster time for himself for the 140.3 on these. Ah, oh, he's pitted. Ah, I didn't even clock that. So, um, Thingy Jig has pitted and has just set his fastest time with a 39.8, which is only a couple of tenths off of the fastest lap of the race so far. So, keep pushing, Thingy. Keep pushing, sir. So Noxie, a second and a half over Pat. Pat still, well, Pat and Jim still fighting it out. I know last time we did look, it was Jim ahead of Pat. And again, can't get the replays to work. I don't know why they're not working. I'm pressing the right buttons from what I've been told and what I've read, so hey-ho. It's that Barry Twins. Barry Twins running really wide there in, in the background. And getting all dirty on his tyres. Ensign at P5. Jokas still a second, applied, keeping the pressure applied. Daz, Daz 7.4 7 behind. Let's see if uh, he can close close up on Jokas and then to it and make some moves. Um, yeah, 
with Koi Carp in P8, 10 seconds behind Daz, which is roughly what they were when they stopped. So, uh, yeah, let's see if, uh, if he can claw that in. We're seeing Rajik 11 seconds behind Koi Carp, but on the softer tyre. Um, again, we'll see what he can close up to. Noxie leading this race by just over a second and a half from Pat. Pat still in second place with Barry Twins closing in on this pair. Definitely closing in on this pair. In uh, turn four and five, again, it's going to lose some more time to Barry Twins with Pat. Still fighting, still scrapping over the, the final podium position. Well, say the final podium positions, the, the podium positions and oh Barry Twins just rocks up and just makes a move straight away on Jim and Pat two for one Barry Twins has just done a two for and that's just dropped Pat down to third place with Jim down into fourth and a drink no wonder uh, I think the Jig always has a, a can or something to hand I refuse to say the name. Anyway, so Barry Twins up to second. He's uh, about three seconds behind Noxie. I think Noxie is uh, quite comfortable at the moment with Pat, Pat and Jim still going at it. Knocking seven bells out of each other this race, these two. And uh, we don't normally get to see um, too much of these two battling, but wow. They, they do fight. This is what, what this is all about. And Jim making a move into T1. But this is what this league's all about. To show you that, that, that these guys fight. And they fight hard. And they are an absolute brilliant to watch. Uh, an absolute pleasure to watch. They are brilliant to watch. Jim uh, taking a defensive line into turn three, uh, turn four. God, I've got to get my corners right in on, really. This is uh, frustrating me. I don't know how much it's annoying you guys. Anyway, where are we at then? So, Jim, Pat, Ensign. <coughs> Ensign, half a second ahead of Yokas. So Yokas starting to claw him in. What's the difference there? Then Ensign's got better tyres than Yokas. Daz now three seconds. Three seconds from Yokas. That's uh, closed down quite a lot. With Koi Carp just under 10 seconds behind Daz. So that gap has closed a, very, a, a little bit with thingamajig now 13 seconds behind koi i think he slipped back a little bit further there with a 40.9 on the last lap with koi carp doing a 39.0 <clears throat> so jim jim's got himself ahead of pat uh, we missed it i'm afraid sorry and i don't know the replay can you hear it look pressing the freaking button it ain't working. Uh, so now is uh, Jim gonna set himself, set, him, blah, 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 set his sights on, on Barry Twins. But Pat's dropped off a little bit there. Pat's dropped off. He's uh, three quarters of a second behind, just about to lose the toe. But Jim, Jim's lining up. Barry Twins into the first corner. He does make a move. Does he make a stick? Barry Twins is still with the inside line. He does not do a Max Verstappen, and Jim is back into second place for Team Talleyrand once again. One two in this feature race. We have just uh, just under six minutes left, which is uh, four laps. We will take, I think, four laps remaining. Uh, Bandit, if you're listening, uh, you did the match the other day, yesterday. So what, what we got left? Um, so Jim in second place with Barry in third. Is Barry under threat from Pat? Or is he going to be able to hold hold off the uh, the team RS driver? It looks like yeah, Pat, Pat's taking a wide line to get a better exit into the hairpin no doesn't pull it off this time Barry Twins sitting there right up the bumper of Jim I'm focusing a bit too much on these guys aren't I how's Daz getting on as Daz Daz is right up the bumper of um, of your gas the switch back into the hairpin Daz makes the move. It looked like uh, Yokas ran a bit wide there. No, he seems to have redressed. There might have been a little bit of contact. 
so his uh, dad's going to uh, get the exit out of the final corner Jokas misses the apex runs wide <coughs> Daz makes a run and Daz is already ahead is he fully ahead? yeah he's fully ahead is uh, Jokas going to jump in his toe to, to make a move into the first corner so Daz up to P6 he's got three and a half seconds Jokas pits Jokas pits this late in the race wow oh no fuel how are we looking for fuel actually that's a point so Noxie, Noxie just under caught in the tank with Jim a little bit worse than Noxie. Maybe have to think about fuel saving a little bit. He is short shifting a little bit. Uh, might just be managing the situation. <clears throat> Barry Twins a little bit more, tiny little bit more than, than Jim. Pat roughly about the same as Barry Twins, but all of these guys, they're all used up their fronts. Ensign Ewart is probably closer to Noxie with just below a quarter of a tank. Plenty of fuel to push there. <coughs> Daz, Daz has got a quarter of a tank. Obviously, having stopped, he's got he's got plenty of uh, fuel to to give it the beans. Plenty of beans juice, as as we call it at work. <coughs> Koi Carp in seventh, quarter of a tank, same as Daz, but uh, it's eight seconds behind Daz. He has closed back a little bit of time, but I, I think it's a bit too late to close down eight. Eight seconds with Thingamajig, with Yokas stopping this uh, jump Thingamajig up to eight place, and Yokas ten seconds behind, which again I think is a bit too much to ask this late in the race. Noxie five seconds clear of Jim. Jim I think is uh, going to have to do some managing. There's, there's two laps left remaining, so we've got the when they cross over the line, we've got that lap and then one more lap after that. I think looking at the timer, I do get it wrong. Uh, I forget my fuel. Uh, Bandit saying on the chat that Pat is having the race of his life on Interlagos, he is flying. That he most definitely was. Uh, I've, I've not seen Pat fighting for podium positions for that long before, for not for a long time. Uh, again, SSM I think is the the last time uh, that springs to mind, but Ensign Ewart is definitely closing up this, uh, this little gaggle. He's now one second behind Pat, but Pat's fuel is flashing. I think he's going to struggle for two laps if it's flashing already. The, the flashing starts at 10%, uh, which is normally a lap or 1.3 laps, usually. Um, a little bit of driver insight. Ooh, that looks like Ensign was running a little bit wide there. Ensign started flashing. Oh, this is going to be tight on field. Daz, Daz is breathing down Ensign's neck now. They're all going to meet now on the last lap, aren't they? Wow. Good, Daz. Moshe shouldn't say things like that but yeah go on Daz again with his bionic knee we haven't seen him in a while whilst he's uh, been recovering from that it's nice to see him back on track it's nice to see him fighting as well he's uh, looking like he's wanting to make a move on Ensign Newitt takes an outside line to, to swing it back and take a straighter exit a nice little run down to the last corner uh, around this little uh, left hander sweeping left hander Takes a little bit of curb, moves to the inside to take, take the racing line on Ensign. That might have been a little bit of a dive, but I think uh, it looked okay. Ensign remains on track, stay in the toe. Pat, Pat's run out of fuel. Has Pat run out of fuel? No, Pat's just really badly fuel saving. Really badly. Oh, Pat comes into the pits. Oh no, that's going to see Thingamajig, I think, jump another place. Koi Carp now seven and a half seconds behind Pat. No, seven seconds behind Ensign. Pat stopping. Uh, that's going to be softs and a little dash of fuel, I imagine. Noxie, last lap. Noxie seven seconds ahead of Jim. Jim fighting with ba uh, Barry Twins. Barry Twins and pinned to the outside line. Both of their fuels are flashing. Jim's having to do some management, I think. Jim defends the apex well, but he's he left the door open on the exit for Barry Twins to get up the inside into the next corner and get a good run up the hill, but they're, they're both having to manage the fuel. Both fuels are flashing. Will they even make it to the, the, the end of the race? Barry Twins on the outside with, with Daz. Daz is closing in with these guys. Is Daz going to get a too far? And then end up in second place after stopping. Ooh. Barry Twins running wide, they're free or wide, and there, yeah, there you go, there you go, Daz does get the too far. <coughs> Jim drops, uh, Jim's dropped down to third, but he does get himself ahead of uh, Barry Twins. Barry Twins has to fall in behind Jim, with Ensign Ewart, Ensign Ewart coming up to, to fight Barry Twins and Jim. 
and Noxie runs up the hill with a seven second gap, a comfortable margin uh, of victory. And that's uh, Noxie's second win and fourth podium of the season. Well done. Daz, phenomenal drive to, to pit stop and, and come all the way back through. Barry Twins takes another P3, Ensign New at P4, Jim in P5, Koi Carp in P6, Thingamajig P7, which considering uh, he did stop uh, and had, uh, had a torrid lap, uh, I think he did a 1 minute 50 something before he stopped, and he comes around to take 7 plates. Jokas having stopped later on. Oh, he's got uh, Pat closing in on him. I don't think there's enough time for Pat. So Jokas in eighth and Pat in P9. Wow. Wow, that that was uh that was some good battling and there's uh Noxie's trophy. And he went up six positions. Now we can't work out how you get a trophy. What what's the difference between when you do and when you don't get a trophy? If anybody does know, please let us know because we can't work it out. Let's uh let's head to the to the race results. There's Noxie with his uh with his VRC overalls on. That's a very nice helmet. Grease monkey helmet, isn't it? That's smart that is. It's green. You can't beat a bit of green, can you? So anyway, uh excuse me. <coughs> so Noxie takes the win. As I said, I think that's uh Noxie's second win and fourth podium of the season so far. I think uh I know it's early doors. There's, there's another three rounds left to go, but that, that's already putting him in good stead for, for getting his hands on this uh, championship. Daz in second. Again, another fantastic uh, come good fight through the field. Um, clinching that second place on the last lap uh, by passing Barry Twins and Jim. Barry Twins with a th another third place. That's his third podium out of four. So three out of four is not bad at all, Barry, is it? Is it? Uh, Enton Europe, P4 again. So again, putting himself in, in contention, I think, definitely. Uh, especially with taking a win last race. Jim in P5, I think he had to do a little bit of fuel management towards the, the, the last lap or two. Uh, I think ultimately might have cost him a podium. Koi Carp again uh, followed the same strategy with Daz and, and stopped, uh, started on the soft tyres and stopped. So again, a, another good fight through. The thingamajig, stopping for, for soft tyres, probably about midway through the race, which I think is what helped him get the uh, the undercut on, on Jokas and Pat when they stopped later on in the race. And Jokas in P8 and Pat in P9 with VRC Daz taking the fastest lap on lap four with a 138.4. Wow. That was uh, that was a good race. Well done, guys. And let's uh, catch up with the chat. Uh, Pat says, stupid fuel tank. Mm, no, the fuel tank's the same on all the cars. So, you know, some guys didn't need to, to fuel save or stop. Uh maybe a little bit of management earlier on in the race would help me, especially when you're fighting. Matt uh, Psycho saying, great drive, Noxy. It was a brilliant drive from Noxy. Well managed, well controlled. Ensign Newitt saying, great night, uh, great night, guys. Great comms, Mr. Skyjacker. You don't normally listen to the comms. Are you listening just because I'm doing it? Oh, thanks. Um, Matt Psycho again, great driving team, Psycho. Uh, good race all. Nice one, Skynet. Thank you. And Pat, so close to P4, the problem with battling too hard is using more fuel. Ah, that's where the experience comes into it, Pat. You don't fight too hard early on. You sit there, you follow, you fuel save, you manage, and then you fight. Or, yeah, just go, go balls out, balls to the wall, just fight it, fight it all the way from lights to flag. Lights to flag, fight it every scrap of the way, every corner, every straight. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I know I'm nowhere near as good as Thingy, but I do hope you're enjoying it. Um, and we'll be back next Friday for, for some more uh, Sir Sterling Moss Shield. 
and let's have a look at where we are at. Wait for Discord to load a second. <clears throat> so next week we are at uh, Lago Maggiore West. Now I actually work with Italian, so I do know how to pronounce that properly, but I'm winding Barry up because he says I can't pronounce things proper. So yeah, Lago Maggiore West. I like the West layout. I do prefer the GP one, but in a Group 4 car, the, the West layout is, is a good one. So that's next Friday um, at the same time uh, with me again, uh, ruining our impeccable YouTube channel. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, what we got coming up? Uh, we've got GT3 West on Tuesday. Uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed that we didn't run on Tuesday, um, mainly because we didn't. Uh, yeah, there was a lot a lot of drivers missing and i think it would, it would have only been like five guys driving around in lagos for 90 minutes which you know granted the right the racing might have been really really good uh and really really close but but the uh racer brow decided to make the decision to postpone it to to drag on our into lagos brazil fest for another couple of days so we'll be on Tuesday. We'll be back at Interlagos for that. Uh, Thursday, we have the GTMC. We are moving on to Italy there. And uh, Thingamajig will be uh, bringing all the action live from Monza with the Grand Prix layout. So with the dodgy first chicane. And then, as I said, Friday, we're back with the uh, Sesterlin Wash Shield. <clears throat> at uh where did i say i've forgotten there already <laughs> at lago maggior mag 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 -E -E west um so i don't think there's much else is there i don't know if we're doing another team versus team on wednesday against black flag and i'm not too sure if the axr league has finished um or not so far I know that it, was, it wasn't a massively long season. So uh, yeah, let's have one more run through the uh, through the chat. Ensign saying Lego. No. Um, it's a good track, man. We might know that. It's a lovely track. Uh, Psycho saying TTMC. Yay. That is yay. Uh, Koi Carp, I really enjoyed that. It looked like you did, it looked like you did. And Talarand Lag Lago Maggiore for next week. I found it in the end. And Ensign Ewart, that's not a track. That's a track I'm not a. I'm not too fond of. That's because uh, you've not gone round it fast enough. Then. Da -da -da -da. Challenge. Right then. Uh, yeah run for everything uh thank you very much for for joining us tonight and uh, thank you for your company on the chat um thank you very much for the racing uh, for the guys on track uh it was phenomenal um so uh join us all next well join me next week and join thingamajig um tuesday and, and thursday for for the other league racing we have going on and i will leave you with um Happy racing.